postal service came today. And look at what I got in the mail. I got a really cheap inverter off eBay. It is, so we'll take a look at these later. These are the crocodile clips. If anything, I will probably use the ones that came with my other inverter with it if I desire to. Came with this, not horrible. The heat shrink failed to make it over the negative connection. It came with two extra 25 amp fuses. That's always nice. Because who hasn't hooked up the crocodile clips backwards and blown both fuses? I've certainly have done that. Comes with a user's manual. Pretty general user's manual. It covers between their 400 watt and their 2000 watt inverter. Supposedly it's supposed to be a pure sine wave. And let's take a look at the manual. There's that. It's also got a universal thing. <laughs> Yep, 12 to 15 volts input. Oh well, really you don't want your battery to go really past 11.8 volts. It's bad for the lead batteries. It's 100 to 220, or 100 volts to 120, 60 hertz. Interesting how it can have that big of a discrepancy. That's the new type of TVs, the LED TVs use very little power. Although the 12 inch LED color TVs I've seen are usually using actual, they use literally a 12 volt uh, power brick. Some of them are 14 volts. So you don't even need an inverter, just get a, get a 12 volt to 14 volt uh, buck regulator. CD players, um, a small hi-fi would probably be a little more than 60 watts. Uh, yeah, a proper stereo should be about 250. I wouldn't be using home feeder with this, but yeah. It would try, I'm sure it would. This is going to be a bit of a long video. I'm going to be a two part video because we'll have a looky loo of the inside of the inverter. Page four. Car charger, do you know? Yeah. So, modified sine wave is red and pure sine wave is green. We'll see about that. I do have a uh, uh, oscilloscope, not a very good one, but one that would be enough of a useful item. Cooling fan that probably runs all the time and is just downright annoyingly noisy. The front of it, the back of their bigger inverters, everything. I can probably take a good guess. They're 800 watt and they're 1200 watt. They're probably very similar size to this. Everything. So let's take a look at the inverter. Chart. Pure sine wave, it's got a surge of 800 watts, what so means it's a solid state pure sine wave. So it's technically just a class D amplifier. That's the front of it, and we'll take a look at the inside of it. It's just made in China. So, part two will be the guts. And then part three will be me hooking it up to my oscilloscope. And that's my new smartwatch that I will be doing a review on.